Fine. Good morning to you all, students. Hi, students. How are you? I hope you all are fine and you all are doing well. I hope by God's grace you all are safe. Students, so pray to God daily for your health. So your studies, your parents, food, and your environment and your neighbors. Okay, students. So warm greetings to you all, students. Welcome to our today's online class. So this period is computer science for you. So please, all of you take your textbooks in your hand, students. So please, all of you take your textbooks in your hand. So also sit in a place and listen carefully what I am teaching. Okay, students. So now we are studying about chapter five. <clears throat> so what's the title of your chapter, students? Working with Windows operating system, isn't it? So in this chapter, you have studied lot of things regarding. operating system isn't it or not yes so what do you mean by operating system so what's the use of operating system so what are the main functions of operating system so what are the different versions of operating system how you need to work with the operating system how you need to open a file isn't it lot of things you have studied <clears throat> so so today we are going to study a topic called managing files and folders Okay, so mainly today you are going to study about what do you mean by files and folders. <clears throat> so you all are familiar about files and folders, isn't it? So you all know. I know. If I ask this question, what do you mean by file? What do you mean by folders? To any one means. So you will say the answer. So this is a file. This is a folder, isn't it? Because <clears throat> you say in a mobile phone itself, you have created files and folder, isn't it, Anna? So what do you mean by files? For example, documents. A word is there, so that is one file. A PDF document is there, that we can call as one file. Then one photo is there, that is called as one file. So each and everything separately we are calling as a one file. Okay. So next thing, folders. So so all some files you have stored. For example, collection of files you have stored inside folders. For example, so you are subject regarding documents. So you will get lot of documents in your WhatsApp and etc. etc. Isn't it? So you are subject regarding, for example, computer science. I am, for example, I am telling. So computer science. So I'll send some documents or Word file. So you will create one folder called computer science, and you will store all the computer science documents inside the folder computer science. <clears throat> Then, so chemistry, they are sending some regarding chemistry documents. So you will save all the chemistry documents inside chemistry folder. Understood now? What do you mean by folders? Folders is a collection of files so you can store lot of files inside the folder okay so here managing files and folders so what do you mean by managing a school management is there what's the use of the school management so school management needs to look after the students then staffs each and everything isn't it who are working under the management so all the things will be owned by whom our school management is it same way so managing mean files and folders will be there you are going to managing so how many files will be there how many folders will be there which folders you are going to save uh, in this file that and all okay so here so in the now we are studying about which operating system mostly windows 7 isn't it okay so here also windows 7 also support the form of what all the files and folder so what are the managing actions is done by this windows 7 means listen so you can able to copy the file you can able to move the file from one folder to next folder or one place to next folder you can able to rename the file what do you mean by rename you can able to give the some of us you have saved that file with one name okay so after some things you are thinking so that file need to same with some other name so you are going to change the file with another name that is called what rename okay then delete so you can able to delete the file and also you can able to search so lot of files is there you need to so <clears throat> you are feeling tough to find all the files and folders from the whole the thing so in the search option if you are type the name of the file and folder means you can find out the files and folders understood so what are the managing actions are there in the files and folders move copy rename delete and search So now you are going to study each and everything in detail. Okay. So first you are going to study about creating files and folders. How you need to create a folder. <clears throat> so this also I think it's so you have familiar because in a mobile phone itself you have 
create a lot of folders isn't it so likewise in the computer also different ways are there to create a new folders okay so you can able to create a new folder inside the hard disk or that means drives you can able to create create a folder in the desktop itself okay so that now you are going to study so that only they are telling so in many locations you are able to create a folders maybe it's a desktop or in a disk drive or any things okay so to for better thing so instead of saving the file for example 20 documents is there so 20 documents you are storing in the d drive means so once you are looking it's a not a good thing okay but so that 20 documents you are storing inside a folder means so no need to <clears throat> by seeing itself uh, you don't feel yeah, this much of things are there so just you can open the folder and you can find it so always you need to store all the files inside one the folders okay so now you are going to study how you need to create a folder okay so for creation of a folder there are two ways are there understood so to create a folder in the computer how many ways are there two ways are there okay so this and all very very basic thing students so please listen carefully okay so what's the first method means listen so you should go inside which icon means computer icon okay so you should go inside which icon computer icon where the computer icon will be there in the desktop isn't it so in the desktop you should click which icon computer icon okay then if you are opening the computer icon you can find out this kind of things <clears throat> lot of drives will be there d drive e drive etc etc okay then what's the first step mean for example if you need to create a folder inside the d drive understood so in a book they have given the example see now you are going to create a folder inside which drive d drive see here which drive d drive okay so first what you need to do to create a folder inside d drive means first you need to click the computer icon then if you are clicking the computer icon all the drive icons will be shown so if you need to create a folder inside the d drive means what you need to do means listen have you seen so now i need to click the d drive because you are going to create a folder inside which drive d drive so you need to click which drive d drive once you are clicking the d drive this page will open okay so this page have you seen the first one file file menu yes so you need to click this file menu okay you need to click which menu file menu so once you click this file menu you have see the option new understood once you click the file menu you have see the option which one new then from the new menu you should select the option called folder understood first you need to click which menu file menu so from the file menu you need to select which one new option from the new option you need to select which one folder okay so once you have create click this folder you have seen this one so like this folder will be created there okay so like this new folder once you have created a new folder always the new folder has been called by a name called what new folder okay that's a default name so you can give whatever name as per your wish you can able to give whatever name but by default once you have created the new folder with what name it will create new folder understood so after creating this one you should press the enter key understood what's the first step students you are going to create a new folder inside the drive icon the method that is inside d drive okay so for the first what you need to do first you need to click the my computer or computer icon then inside the computer icon you should select which drive you need for example you need to create you are going to create a folder inside d drive means you should click which one d drive okay then inside the d drive what you need to select click the file menu okay then from the file menu you should click or choose which one new option from the new option you should select which one folder so once you have selected the folder option you have created which one new folder will come understood okay so after so always the new folder will be created with the default name what new folder understood so after getting this one you should press the enter key sub so to this understood i love you so what are the steps you need to follow to create a new folder inside the computer icon so listen first you need to click which one my computer okay where it will be a my computer so where it is in a desktop okay so listen so where is my computer have you seen here this is my computer okay so 
you should create a folder inside drive icon means first what you need to do you should click this my computer icon that's the first step okay so once you have clicked the my computer icon there it will be a drive icons okay there it will be a this is called drive icon c drive d drive e drive f drive then which drive in which drive you need to create a folder for example i need to create a folder inside f drive so in a book they have given a d drive like this i need to create a folder inside which drive students f drive so that drive you need to double click so i have double click the drive f okay so inside this which option you need to select file option understood students so inside that which one you need to select file option okay so inside the file option you need to select which one means click the new option first you need to click the my computer in the desktop icon then from the desktop you need to select drive icon which drive you need to for example d drive e drive or f drive so for example i need to create a drive f drive means f drive i need to click or d drive means so which drive you are opening that drive will be displayed at the top so here now i am opening d drive okay so d drive is displayed at the top so here what you need to do me first you need to click the file menu okay you need to click the which menu file menu okay then from the file menu you need to select which option new option okay then in the new option you need to click which select which one folder okay so once you have clicked this folder option see this like folder will created that means with the name new folder okay new folder so now you need to rename the folder okay rename me so here you need to click the icon sorry click the cursor here okay so here and you need to delete what a new folder default it will create a name or def new folder isn't it then you need to delete the new folder name and you should type whatever name here they are example they have giving test folder like is whatever name you need to type that name you need to type and press the enter key understood how you need to create the folder inside the drive icon understood okay this is the first step then second step what's the second step listen so second step is you are going to create a new folder in the desktop understood what's the second step you are going to create a folder in where desktop there you have studied you are going to create a folder in drive icon next thing is you are going to create a folder in which, which one desktop so what's the first step means listen carefully so first you need to you go to the you, first you have on the system in the desktop you should right click okay in the desktop what you need to do you should right click okay then once you have right click you should select the option called the new same way okay you should create a select option called what new then you need to click the folder called which option folder option same so once you have clicked the folder option automatically a new folder will be created in the desktop after a new folder is created same way you should press the enter key okay so when you need to change the name of the folder then you should type your name as per your wish understood the second step okay so what are steps you need to follow see <coughs> first you need to go to the desktop so in the desktop you should click which one which one new option right click okay so once you have right click you should select which option new option see this new option okay so in this new option you should select which one folder okay so once you have click this folder option a new folder will be created see like this new folder will be created so here you can able to type so what name you need to create a folder that name you need to create and click the or press the enter icon understood so listen so this is the desktop screen of a computer okay so here now i am going to create a folder in the desktop what's the first step i said you need to right click so i have right click so here you need to select which option students new option okay so i have uh, select the which option new option so in the new option i need to select which one option folder so i have selected okay now i need to click this one see so once you have clicked this option a folder this new folder see default with what name it will be displayed new folder name okay so here you need to select type whatever name you need you need to press the backspace button for example i am typing the name simply i am typing the name as abc okay so simply i am typing the name as abc whatever name you need that name you can type then after typing the name you should press the enter button that's all okay you should type the name and also next what you need to do press the enter button once you have pressed the enter button see 
that name will be displayed that's the name of the folder now what's the name of the folder students abc understood so there are two ways you have study to create a folder what are the two ways students so first you need to create a folder inside drive icon next one is inside the inside desktop understood okay so next thing is creating files so next you are going to create a file so here which file they have given means word file that means you are going to create one new word file okay so what's the use of this one this is the word file okay so what's the use of word file means so already have studied in a um, document window and application window so what's the use of this word file means you can able to type the text or insert image or whatever maybe you can able mostly it is mainly used to type the text inside the document okay that's the use of what word pad okay so to open this word pad what are the steps you need to follow okay so first you need to click the start button so already you have studied where the start button it will be in the right corner isn't it so in the right corner you should click which one start button okay so from the start button you should click which one all programs okay from the start button you should click which one all programs okay then from the all programs listen carefully you should select accessories okay so you should select which one accessories then from the accessories you should select which one bad pad this is the first thing for two steps are there first step you need to go to the click the start button from the start button you should select the one all programs from the all programs you should select which one accessories then in the accessories you should select bad pad okay this is the first thing second thing same thing you have you also need to open second way is from the run command so in the search box you can type run so in the run command you can type the what application for example word pad means so word pad in the run command you can type the word pad and click the okay so that window will open for example this word window needs to open means the word file will open understood okay so now you have opened the word file so after opening the word file now you are going to save the file okay so to save the file what's the shortcut means control yes okay what's the shortcut for saving the file control yes once you click the save button a control save as dialog box will appear okay so inside the dialog box you should give the file name and click save button okay students so i'll uh, explain this one listen carefully so now i need to here i am install install the windows save so there is a no start button is there okay so i have opened the bad part okay so this is the bad part so what are steps i said so if a start button is there means inside the start button you should click which one all programs then the all program you should select accessories on word pad okay so listen carefully what's the use of this is the word pad or word file what's the use of word pad you can able to type anything so after typing you should save the file okay so what's the steps to save the file means listen carefully so this is here have you seen this file menu yeah. from the file menu listen you should select which option means save option okay you should select which option save option so what's the shortcut for save means control yes so what's the shortcut for saving the file control yes so you should select click this save option okay listen you already have studied once you click the save option this dialog box will open okay so here in the place of file name you should give any one file name okay so you should give any one file name then so after giving this file name you should click which button means save button okay so once you click this save button listen so if your file is saved means with that name your file will be there okay so i have saved dadsc that file name it will be displayed understood students okay so today's question up to this enough i think so, so what are things you have studied so managing files and folders how you need to create a folder so what are two, two steps you have studied inside the drive icon as well as inside the desktop isn't it and also you have studied how you need to open the word pad and how you need to save the file okay students so please after completion of this session so you should just read what are the things i have taught okay students so thank you students so you should attend the zoom class i'll explain okay thank you take care